Today, we're going to look at how using PowerPoint Live in Teams will make presenting slides easier, especially when more than one person is presenting. One of the biggest concerns I have heard when it comes to this feature is that by default, anyone in the meeting can take control of the slides. If you stick around to the end, I will also show you how to adjust the meeting options to specify who can present the slides. In this video, I am going to play two roles. First, I'm going to be presenter Jessica, and then I'm going to hand control of the presentation over to presenter Heather. When you are in the Teams web app, the toolbar with the share tray is not immediately visible. You will need to hover your mouse over the bottom of the screen and then click the open share tray icon, which is right next to the microphone icon. If you have been using PowerPoint in Teams, you may see some files under the words PowerPoint. If not, you will need to go to the right side of the screen and select Browse. And then you can upload a file from Teams and Channels, OneDrive, or from your computer. I am going to quickly grab a file from my computer. Teams will think about it for a second, and when the file is uploaded, you will see all of the details on what is called the presenter's stage. As presenter Jessica, I can see the first slide of my PowerPoint presentation. When I select the second slide, I can also see the instructor's notes to the right of the slide. And then below, you will see a thumbnail view of each of the slides. The people watching the presentation will have a toolbar similar to the one you see here, and they can scroll through the slides on their own unless you turn this feature off. To do that, you will need to click on the eye icon. The presenter will see a message at the top of their screen letting them know that private viewing has been disabled. And now your participants cannot move through the presentation on their own. There is no wrong or right answer to whether or not private viewing should be on or off. It's a matter of personal preference or business practice. Now we're back in the presenter view for Jessica, and we're going to say that she is the one presenting the agenda slide, but Heather is going to present the next slide on Outlook. And as the role of Heather, I am in the desktop app, and I'm going to show you how I would take control of the presentation by going to the toolbar at the top of the screen. And once I click on the button, I am no longer a viewer, and I am seeing the presenter's stage. Because I am viewing this from the Teams desktop application, you will notice at the bottom of the screen there are a couple of additional options that we did not see from the web application. The first option is the laser pointer that allows you to draw attention to certain parts of the slide. When you move your mouse off of the slide, the laser will disappear. Then you have the ability to draw on the slide and that will not disappear unless you erase it. You can also use the highlighting tool. If you want to remove all marks, just use the eraser tool. The other option we have in the desktop app that we do not have in the web app is the grid view. When you click on grid view, you will see the thumbnails for all of the slides rather than just the few that can fit at the bottom of the screen. Presentations with a lot of slides might be easier to navigate in grid view. To get back to the traditional view, just click the X on the right-hand side of the screen. In the role of Heather, I am now in control of the slide presentation and can present my information. When I am done, Jessica will need to take control back. The one tip I will give you here is don't click Stop Presenting. If you do, it will stop the presentation for everyone rather than handing it back to your co-presenter. Instead, your co-presenter needs to go to the Take Control button on their screen in order to continue the presentation. Now that Jessica has control back, we can finish our dress rehearsal and move on to the next topic. And that topic is how to use the meeting options to change the default settings that allow everyone in the meeting to take control of a presentation. I have gone back to the Teams calendar and opened the meeting details for my dress rehearsal, and now I'm going to click on Meeting Options. When the options open in a separate tab, we are going to adjust the Who Can Present settings. Click the drop-down arrow next to Everyone, and then you will have the option to choose Specific People or Only Me. 
If you choose only me, that means that only the organizer of the meeting will be able to present. If you need to have more than one person present, then you'll want to choose specific people. A choose presenters option will appear on the screen and you can search for the name of the person you want to be a co-presenter. In this example, Heather has created the meeting, but Jessica is going to be the presenter. If you need additional names, you can always add them to the choose presenters field. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button or consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.